Now, over at the taxpayer-funded Australian Broadcasting Corporation, the anti-Australian Broadcasting Corporation, or as a viewer suggested on Instagram last night, the Australia Bashing Corporation, they've been very happy about 20,000 people who came here on illegal people smuggling voyages being given permanent residency. The 29-year-old and her three young children, parents and siblings, to be granted permanent visas. We hoped, hoped for this day. Now, who couldn't be happy for these people? I wish them all the best. Only it's unfair to others who followed the rules or who don't have the cash for smugglers, and it risks restarting all that chaos. The Green left has also been ecstatic about Labor letting the Billawheeler family stay here despite, despite them not being refugees. Again, good for them. I wish them the best, but hardly fair. So where are the ABC, the broader Green left and the government when it comes to the Green family? We've met them. Mark Green, his wife Kelly and daughter Rebecca, they came to Australia from Scotland legally. They've worked, studied and paid taxes in Adelaide and through no fault of their own, just because solar installation companies Mark worked for went bust, they keep running into visa problems and the threat of deportation. They've been here 10 years now, always in work. They came legally, as I said, we wanted them. They want to stay. They contribute, yet they're still in limbo and under threat of deportation. They're constantly being put through the ringer, desperate for a resolution soon, after spending more than $150,000 on this visa shambles. This is not good enough. Prime Minister, Immigration Minister, Australia... Give these people permanent residency now. Or are they better off going to Indonesia and paying a people smuggler?